Begin in child's pose with your elbows in front of you, forehead resting down and the hands together above your head. Take a few nice long deep breaths towards the spine, towards the ribs, the hips, the toes and the crown of the head. And just notice how you feel right now at this moment. From there, release the hands out in front of you. Lift onto hands and knees. And then begin to straighten the right leg out behind you. Lift your left arm forward. Hug everything into the midline. And then bend the right knee and reach towards the right ankle with your left hand. Don't catch it yet. And release the knee and the hand down. Other side, lengthening and straightening the left leg. Right arm out in front of you. Bend your left knee and then reach behind you and release. Switch sides again. Right leg out, left arm forward. This time again, reach behind you, maybe catching your foot. And exhale, release. Last time, lengthening, reaching. And then reach behind you, maybe catch your ankle, your foot, and then release down. Bring the knees underneath the hips and then straighten the arms out in front of you. Anahatasana. Let the heart melt, the forehead melt. And then rise up on your knees, fingertips behind you. Press the fingertips down to lift your heart open towards the sky. And exhale, hands come out in front of you. Anahata asana. Do that again. Inhale, lift, fingertips behind you. Open your heart. And exhale, forward. Hands slide out in front of you, hips above your knees. Inhaling, sitting back. Fingertips behind you. Open the heart. And exhale, hands come in front of you, curl the toes under and come to downward facing dog. And bend one knee, straighten the other leg, take a few breaths in your down dog. Head is relaxed, neck is relaxed. And now from there, begin to lift your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, right leg rises again. And then exhale, step the foot forward in between your hands. Release the left knee down on the earth. And then rise up, align your pelvis, make sure that the navel is lifted, begin to lift your arms up towards the sky. And then exhale, hands come in front of your heart. Inhale, let the arms rise, let the heart lift, press down into your right foot. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Last time, inhale, lift and open your chest towards the sky. And exhale, release the hands down. Shift slowly back with the hips, but keep your hips more or less above your left knee, so not all the way back. Fold forward over the right knee. And then inhale, wave forward, knee towards the side. Exhale, shift back. Inhale, wave forward, elbows wide. Exhale, shift back. Last time, inhaling forward. And exhale back. Lengthen your spine. And then gently bring the knee back forward. Bring both knees together. And then lift the right leg up, just like you did before. Catch the right ankle, if you can, with your left hand. And this time, hug the navel in to the midline. 
and begin to lift your foot up. Exhale, slowly lower down. And then walk your hands out in front of you, Anahata Asana. Release the forehead, the hands down. Flow back on your knees, fingertips behind you. Lift and open your heart like a wave. Exhale, release forward, hands out in front of you, downward facing dog. Just make sure that your face is relaxed, the fingertips are spread in your down dog. And then lift your left leg up into the sky, bend your knee, open your hip. And exhale, step the foot in between your hands, lower the right knee down. Inhale, arms rise towards the sky, lift your navel to protect the low back. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. So make this a movement meditation, breathing with your body. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Once more. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale, bow forward, release. Hands and heart. Shift your hips back, lengthen the left leg. And again, make sure that the hips don't go all the way back. Inhale, come forward, lift your heart, bend your knee. Exhale, wave back. Inhale, if you want more opening in the hip, bring that left knee a little wider to the left. Exhale, bring it straight back. Last time, inhale. And exhale, release. Shifting back. Inhale, bend your front knee, bring both knees together and then shift that left leg up towards the sky. See if you can reach for the left ankle with your right hand. If not, just keep reaching and don't catch it. And then from there, start to press the foot into the hand, lift your navel, connect to your core and then release the knee down, release the hand down. Walk the hands out in front of you, Anahata Asana. Hips stay above your knees. From there, ripple the spine back on your knees like a wave. Bring the fingertips behind you. Lift your heart up towards the sky. And exhale, hands come out in front of you. Downward facing dog. Move in your own beautiful way if you need to open the back a little or wiggling the hips. Begin to raise the right leg back up. Bend your knee, open your hip. Last time on this side. And then exhale, step the foot in between your hands. Lower the left knee down. This time, wave the arms by your side like you've got wings. Open the heart towards the sky. Exhale, hug your arms around your beautiful body. Inhale, lift and open your heart. Wave the arms wide. Exhale, arms around your body. Once more. Full expression, reach up, connect to your core. And then exhale, release forward, relax. Release your forehead, just sway a little from side to side. And then begin to slowly stretch back again, hips back above your left knee, fold forward over the right leg. Inhale, bend your front knee. And then step that right foot all the way back. Bring it behind you and up towards the sky. Again, reach for the right ankle with your left hand. Whether you stay there, reaching, or you catch the ankle and begin to really press the foot into your hand, lifting up. Exhale, release the knee next to the left. 
and work your hands out in front of you. Ripple back, melt back on your knees. Wave the spine up, bring the hands behind you, fingertips press down, lift and open your heart. And exhale, fold forward, hands in front of you, curl the toes and come to downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, raise the left leg up, bend your knee and open your hip. Keep that left shoulder in line with the right. And then step the foot forward using your core. Release the right knee down. Again, begin to lift your navel, really connect to your abdominal muscles. And then open your arms like wings. Exhale, hug your arms around your body. Inhale, open your chest, open your heart towards the sky. Exhale, wave your arms. Last time, full expression. Reach up, breathe. Lift from the navel, out of the low back. And then exhale, release all the way down and forward. Relax your head, your neck. And then shift slowly back. Half splits, lengthening the spine, releasing forward. And then slowly and gently, bring yourself forward, bend your front knee. Last time, shift that left foot back and up towards the sky. Press down into your left hand and reach behind you with the right. Catch your ankle or keep reaching, it's the same pose. Or begin to press your foot in your hand without hanging in the low back, so keep that core connection. And then exhale, release the hand, release the knee. Last time, walking the hands out in front of you for Anahata Asana. And then melt back on your knees, wave the spine up, fingertips behind you. Lift the heart, or maybe also lift your hips. Make sure to curl the tailbone under. And then exhale, release down. Relax forward in your child's or wisdom pose. You can rock a little from side to side if that feels nice. The arms can be forward or back or the hands underneath your forehead. And if you feel a little tension in the low back, you can place your hands on your back and massage the low back a little bit, giving some love to your body. And making sure to keep your long deep breathing. See if you can breathe all the way towards the back body. Like you're inflating your kidneys. And then rise up. Cross your legs behind you and sit on your buttock. From here, bringing the soles of your feet together. Lengthen your spine, inhale, crown of the head reaches up. And then exhale, wave forward, release into a forward fold after all that back bending. Take a look at your toes, give them some attention. And then slowly rise up, bring the knees together. Make sure there's space behind you to roll back on your back. And then really use the core. So lift your navel, breathe. And once you're down with the shoulder blades, hug your knees into your chest. Maybe little movements from side to side. And then open your arms wide and bring both knees down onto the earth next to you on the right side. You can place the right hand on top of the left knee to give a little pressure. Always be gentle on your low back. And then help your knees back to center. 
release the knees onto your left side, look over to your right hand and maybe let that left hand give a little pressure to the right knee. Come back to center. Come into happy baby pose. And just like a baby, be content with whatever is happening. Baby doesn't really worry about his or her body. It's just enjoying sleep, food, love. Bring one hand on your heart, straighten out your legs. Bring the other hand on your belly and just release and melt into the earth. Give in to the pool of gravity. And if you've got time, stay here for as long as you wish. Whenever you're ready to go on with your day, you can hug your knees in your chest, roll onto your right side, and then gently and slowly press yourself up into a cross-legged seated posture. Hands come in front of your heart. Namaste.